here only on this sofa mein toh thak haar ke aise baithi hu he went down on his knees and he gave me he gave me this ring uh-huh. and he musne mujhe pehnaya fir utar bhi liya like i tell him at sometimes you just go isi ped ke niche baith jao you are like the next saint or guru banne ke liye aap taiyar ho because he has and that's our point of fight also half the time so uh-huh. like thoda to ambition rakho life mein i think that's our relation see of course you have to make those minor changes hmm. you can't just say mai aisa hi hu mujhe aisa hi rehne do hmm. then aap to relationship mein rahu hi mat because yeah. it just can't happen that there will be no changes i wanted like how every girl dreams dreams of her marriage to be but i've been a bride on screen so many times i was so tired of it i'm like <laughs> can i get married in a jeans and a shirt of starting a family sooner uh, i think right now i read somewhere ranbir kapoor had an interview where he said i my biggest insecurity is my son will be 20 when uh, i am going to be of a 60. certain age yeah we are very happy in each other's company of course our parents now keep asking ab shaadi ho gayi then now the next step is this <laughs> she has been that face on indian television that uh, you can't imagine a face of uh, tv without her so shandini ghosh welcome to bollywood babu thank you uh, so much for having me on board i am uh, super excited i am to like very very excited because like uh, i am that person who has lived on indian television from the starting of uh, my life because uh, when i was born and when i was able to kind of gather like what's, what's happening, happening? <laughs> uh, indian tv was at its peak Oh the uh, initial phase the whole saas bahu sagas okay. and everything that started so i have always been associated and very excited about that so and you have been a face that has always been constant reminder of what actual indian tv represents so Thank that is so something. much i'll take that as a compliment yes. <laughs> though you make yes. me feel like i said even no. before the interview like some fossil was in you there was so long who can uh, say that you are a fossil but that's you good like this fossils have a lot of uh, value yeah <laughs> the older the things as they say mm. you but get you into are the but the legends i'll say Thank in the so i'll take that I have as a to start uh, from the starting only like uh, you and anugrah like okay look so pretty beautiful oh, together so much. uh i want to start by asking like, how did it all start kind of we met in the gym Okay. So that's how we met in the gym, and uh, we are very contrasting personalities. He is an introvert, as introvert as one can get, and I won't say that. See, he's anti-social, but he's very happy in his own company. And he was one person, perhaps I knew in my life, just because of lockdown, was कुछ भी फर्क नहीं पड़ा, because he's just so happy. Give him things to read or watch, and just him, his घर का खाना and his mom, and with me beside, he's just very happy. He doesn't need. I tell him at sometimes you just go isi ped ke niche baith jao you are like the next saint or guru banne ke liye aap taiyar ho because he has and that's our point of fight also half the time so say like thoda to ambition rakho life mein but he's very happy and content i am not saying i'm overly ambitious but yeah, i also have my whatever some amount of ambition so we are very different people but uh, we also have a very uh, big point of commonality and that's the love for the family you know we are very very family people and when i say family i'm sure everybody loves their family but hum uthte baithte jo bhi karte hamare zindagi ke har decision her action it's always to make be with our people around mauka milte hi he goes to jaipur i go to kolkata so i think that was one common point of connect we had and uh, fitness was another point of connect you know because he's into the fitness industry and he helped me become a fitter person a healthier person he still continues to do that you know always keep on checking on me trying to do away with my bad eating habits and stuff like that so those were the common points in which we started connecting and we eventually became very good friends like best friends and and then after some time we realized that okay the lines are kind of blurred we we didn't even know when it transitioned from being a best friend to the relationship phase but wo karte karte almost 8 saal beet gaye and we would have got married one year sooner had covid not happened mm. but then we said okay you know like we might as well do this because Uh, that was the next obvious step. So, yeah. but like uh, I feel like what I heard now, so it's like he, you and her, him balance each other out. Yes, for sure. That is the contrasting yeah. uh, features kind of uh, come out in that, and yeah. you balance each other yeah. out. But like, who was it who made the first move, kind of, to uh, actually propose the idea of that maybe it's time to take it from friendship to the next level? So that I don't think anybody made a first move because we both knew that it's gone. But the first move in terms of even starting a communication was me, because he doesn't talk in much, you know. And uh, I only started, you know, whatever that sense that I like him and all that all started from my messages. 
बट लाइक आई सेड वी वर फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट सो ऐसा कोई एक पर्टिकुलर डेट नहीं है वैन ईदर ऑफ आस प्रपोज इन दर ओके लेट्स गेट इन टू रिलेशनशिप लेट्स स्टार्ट डेटिंग इट कैंड ऑफ बिगैन ऑन इट्स ओन एंड वी रियलाइज ओके वी आर ऑलरेडी इन दैट फेज सो दैट वे नो बड़ी प्रपोज प्रपोज टू इच अदर बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ हैविंग इवन टू स्टार्ट हैविंग अ फ्रेंडशिप एंड ऑल दैट फर्स्ट मूव वॉज मेड बाई मी आई स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू हेम वे ही गॉट दैट फीलिंग दैट ओके शी लाइक्स मी एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट ओके बट बट मैरिज के लिए तो प्रपोजल आया होगा ना नहीं नहीं हम दोनों को पता था कि चलो oh, कर लेते शादी कर लेते <laughs> एक साल पहले भी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इट ऑफ कोर्स ही प्रपोज इन द सेंस आई ऑलवेज टोल इन दैट चलो ठीक है यू नो शादी है एंड फॉर आस इट वाज बीइंग एंड वी आल्सो हैड अ वेरी इंटीमेट सेरेमनी नॉट बिकॉज इट वाज कोविड टाइम्स अदरवाइज आल्सो दैट्स व्हाट आई वुड हैव चोजन फॉर माय सेल्फ वेरी कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग टू हु आई वाज प्रोबेबली 15 इयर्स बिफोर आई वांटेड लाइक हाउ एवरी गर्ल ड्रीम्स ड्रीम्स ऑफ अ मैरिज टू बी बट आई हैव बीन अ ब्राइड ऑन स्क्रीन सो मेनी टाइम्स आई वाज सो टायर्ड ऑफ इट आई एम लाइक कैन आई गेट मैरिड इन अ जींस एंड अ शर्ट आई डोंट वांट टू गो थ्रू ऑल दैट यू नो व्हाटएवर कम्स विद इट बिकॉज़ आई हैव डन इट But I understand he's not done it, so we had to have the ceremonies and stuff like that. But one quite sad thing, yar, I want my man to go down on his knees and propose to me and all. So I remember I was shooting for Tera Yar Hume, and as luck would have it, I was also getting married on screen then, uh. and happening off screen, and I was juggling between the two. One day I came back, my brother and my sister-in-law were here, here only on this sofa. I was just thak har ke aise bati hu. He went down on his knees and he gave me, he gave me this ring, uh. and. ही मुझने मुझे पहना है फिर उतार भी लिया बोला क्योंकि हमको कैलकटा में ये सेरेमनी सबके बीच में करना है बट यू वांटेड मी टू गो डाउन ऑन माय नीज सो आई डन दैट हियर सो ऑल दिस क्यूट थिंग्स ही इज डन बट या आई मीन सी मैरिज वाज समथिंग बट टॉकिंग लाइक ओके इट्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू टेक सो वी म्यूचुअली डिसाइडेड ऑन इट या इट्स लाइक ड्रेस रिहर्सल हो गया रिंग पे आने का आई सेड व्हाट इज इट व्हाट वाज दिस सो यू नो सो 5 दिसंबर वी गॉट मैरिड एंड 4 दिसंबर वी वांटेड टू हैव द रिंग सेरेमनी विद द फैमिली सो इज लाइक अब मैंने तो पहना ले उनके सामने भी पहनाना है तो पहना के मेरी ख्वाहिश उससे पूरी कर दी अब गोइंग डाउन ऑन द नीज एंड देन ही took the ring off ही सेड नाउ वी विल डू इट अगेन इन कैलकटा टेक टू बट लाइक यू हैव बीन टुगेदर फॉर 8 इयर्स राइट of relationship now another year oh, oh, yeah, totally around right. the 9th year we got married yeah, so it's almost 10 10 yeah years. so a decade, decade has passed yeah. but like uh, in the almost. first 9 years that you knew him and now in the ne- uh, last one year yeah like has uh, marriage kind of changed any kind of uh, perception or maybe something new you kind of discovered about him after getting married oh uh, no you know again that's another thing we keep arguing about because i just feel the same and he's like how is it possible that you don't feel i'm like what has actually changed the obviously the social and the mm. you know the legal status of being husband and wife but i don't think anything between has to be we were very comfortable with each other then we never lived in lived in yeah so that's one difference that you know we've started living 24/7 under the same roof and you know small things about habits and all like he wants to go to sleep by 10:30 i don't get sleep by 10:30 so those little little adjustments one needs to make but apart from that you know in the major things nothing has changed i don't see i mean of course now i address him as husband or pati and pehle mein wo address nahi karti thi those cute changes but i don't think in our equation anything has changed in my head we were we are still the same friends that we were before he sometimes asks me why don't you feel are you my husband you're my wife you're supposed to behave like my wife i'm like what is like behaving like a wife <laughs> so sometimes he wants to feel a certain change i don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing but i think we are just we, a lot of people say shaadi ke baad change ho jata hai but i think by god's grace touch wood the transition has been very mm-hmm. smooth we really don't feel any change at like like i said apart from staying together those habits here and there little bit of habits here and there yeah. nothing really but like uh, you said na no, he's a introvert and he likes yeah. to be a little Uh, in his world so how does he deal with the fame and success and the scrutiny that comes with you ab he to he is used to it very honestly <laughs> pehle obviously wo thoda sa bol like used to it in the sense like right now also see he never stops me so the freedom mm. is always there to mm. do what i want because he also trusts me he knows that i'll not do anything that's going to embarrass my side of the family or his side of the family but sometimes he's more protective of me like you know sometimes you put up a post like in between sometimes i put up a post wearing a swimming costume on my social media and you get nasty comments also so as a protective partner he just wants to protect me from getting nasty comments or feeling bad about them that way sometimes he tells me do you want to do this do you know he never says don't do it but then he leaves it on to my judgment and he also knows that i'm a person who by herself is very aware of what she's doing and i do things only when i want to do i don't want to do it because i'm meant to do it or i'm supposed to follow a trend or something 
पहले पहले बॉर्डर तो होता था यू नो लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स थिंग्स इफ समबडी से समथिंग अबाउट यू एंड योर को एक्टर एंड आई डोंट ब्लेम हिम बिकॉज ही डजेंट कम फ्रॉम दिस प्रोफेशन माई पेरेंट्स टिल डेट समटाइम्स दे बिलीव एवरीथिंग दैट रिटर्न अबाउट यू एंड आई ट्राई एंड टेल दैम दैट यू नो समटाइम्स द बेसिक ट्रूथ इज देयर बट उसको घुमा फिरा के लोग प्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं सो डोंट जस्ट बिलीव एवरीथिंग दैट्स रिटर्न अबाउट सो एज पीपल हु डोंट बिलोंग फ्रॉम दिस इंडस्ट्री पहले से बेटर डील करते हैं बट कभी कभी पिंच करता ही है बट आई थिंक my parents or him they all know the kind of person i am so that we at the end i think they are peaceful that he can you know it's okay nothing mm. nothing wrong there yeah. but does it ever happen that he goes out alone in the public and some uh, maybe photographer is taking his pictures or maybe someone is coming up to him and we like i you are shantini's husband because people have seen him now on social yeah. media they know who he is i don't think it's happened now that he's told me he is gone alone but he's any which way camera shy so even if i go out he's like he wants to stay away from the limelight and he Um, he is like that he is very happy being on his own and i don't think this particular aisa kuch hua hai where people have mm. i mean though fans love us together they given us this couple name called shine gray mm. and they want to see more pictures of us sometimes i tell them yeah they get so happy like on our anniversary they'll make the video reels and all they put in so much of effort and yeah. hard work that's the love for us and we mm. oh we should also share some you know memories with them and experiences with them But yeah, otherwise, ऐसा कुछ नहीं हुआ. But like even last year, it was a little still an okay phase, but still it was in between COVID when yeah, your wedding happened. Yeah, we got married. Yeah. So this year, when you celebrated it, yeah, your first anniversary, yeah, how did you kind of fulfill anything uh, that you kind of couldn't do at the time of the wedding, or how did the celebration, first anniversary celebrations go like? We were in Prabhi, hmm. so. ऐसा कुछ भी we did everything that we wanted to do hmm. on our wedding. So initially, we we thought we'll only just get registered. But then that also later we thought you know our parents even if like a small intimate affair they want to see us doing some rituals so we even actually did that also so ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है जो हमने शादी में रह गया था because luckily my marriage happened when it, things were getting better from covid so but uh, yeah so we wanted to spend time together on our anniversary and we did that and the whole day we were together and we walked around i was swimming in the middle of the sea he was standing near the beaches looking at me swim so we had a good day together you know and uh, we ate we walked around we just enjoyed that day in our vacation so. uh, the whole time i have spoken about your uh, marriage and relationship na there has been a smile on my face because that is uh, what you and anugra kind of exude मुझे खींच खींच के बोलना पड़ता है चलो यार एक आध फोटो तो खींच लो इज दैट कैमरा शाई बट यू कैप्चर्ड बिट ऑफ But memories. And he memories. he even if he's camera shy, na he lets you be, and that's the biggest thing a partner can do. And yes. it's not just when it's uh, in the entertainment industry; it's anywhere. Like, yeah. Just being your partner, be who they are. Yeah. That's I think that's both of us. I think that's our relation. See, of course, you have to make those minor changes. Hmm. You can't just say, "Main aisa hi hu, mujhe aisa hi rehne do." Hmm. Then you to relationship mein rahui mat, because yeah. it just can't happen that there'll be no changes. But the changes can't be forced. It's something that should come from within, and also the changes shouldn't be that demanding. That it demands you to change your core personality throughout. Of course, if it's a bad habit, then also it is within my right as a partner hmm. to help my partner change and lead a healthy, healthy life. If it's a bad habit, but apart from that, I think I know I've accepted him for who he is, and my friends also know. Hmm. That just because we are having a get together, he'll not come to every get together. Not for any other reason. He doesn't stop me, but he starts feeling out of place after a time. Then he'll say, you know, मैं एक कोने में रहूँगा. You will start getting bothered. Your evening will go for a toss. You go and you enjoy. But he also makes that balances it out that when it's a special occasion, if it's my best friend's birthday, even if for an hour, he'll come. Similarly, on my end also, I also stop forcing him. हर जगह चलो. Uh, I will also ask ask him on certain occasions. Okay, this is something I really want you to be there. Like I had received an award as an actor for my last show. I said I want you to be there beside me. So I think we both have accepted each other's personality, and we do make efforts. We do bring changes in us, but things that come from within and nothing that is challenging our core personality. Because if we do that, that's going to be a very short-lived thing. वो जबरदस्ती का होगा. Eventually we'll end up fighting. कि देखो तुम मुझे बदल रही हो मैं तुम्हें बदल रहा हूँ. So yeah, I mean, I think that way we are touch wood. We kind of balance each other out of it. Yeah, and like you have been subject to trolling, you have been subject to nasty yeah, yeah. comments as yes. well. Yes, and in our country, it's that for women especially, like there's a certain age group we have defined, which means marriage should be done. Yes. Yeah, it's changing, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, but still, there's a lot of people. So when you got married, did you ever got 
uh, uh, comments on that or maybe people shamed you kind of for be getting married at this age? No. I have never got shamed for this, honestly. Mm. In fact, a lot of people tell me they don't believe I'm 39, so <laughs> which is there. So you, you told her, yeah. I'm 39. I was like, okay, is yeah. she lying? No, no, I'm yeah. not lying. I turned 39 this September. But I don't think that's happened. This sort of shaming has happened. Mm. I have not faced this. Mm. Uh, in fact, even if I didn't have, even if I was an actor, I never wanted to get married early. Mm. Uh, because, you know, one thing my mother always instilled in me is that she always told me that you've got to be independent first, financially independent. So she's a housewife, that's the part she chose. She had a career in front of her, but back then, women didn't really have the freedom. And you know, my father has been a fantastic partner, no complaints there. But somewhere I can feel, you know, at times she must also be feeling that I, it's not mine. So she always instilled this thing in me, ki saw rupe bhi kamao, khud ka kamana. So that always played on me growing up. So I always knew I have to do something. What? I don't know. But I have to be self-supported, financially independent. And maybe not 38, but I didn't want to... My parents started questioning me, asking me, like every household, 40, 24, 25, when, when, when. I told one thing to my father, that don't do this until 30, don't do this until 30, we'll start talking So even if... It's not because I'm an actor that I chose to get married late. Even if I didn't have to become an actor, 32, 33, I didn't have to get married Haan, probably I married another six years later down my plan. It would have happened a year sooner if not COVID. But uh, Jaldi Shali, to, I don't think I was suited for that. This is something I wanted a late marriage. And uh, because I think I was prepared for a marriage then. I didn't want to get married because you're meant to get married. That's not the kind of person I am. Like even now, between Anugrah and me, if we don't do it, like I said, we don't change anything in our But yes, I am a part of a certain society, there's a certain structure I live in, I have my parents, I know. Sometimes there are a few things you have to abide by, but I wanted to do that when I was completely prepared for it. That okay, now I am ready to take the next step and I did it exactly when I was ready. And I understand that completely because my sister, she, my elder sister is 31, close okay. to 31. Yeah. And like for her also, for the next few years, marriage is out of question because yeah. she's currently working on making herself financially yeah. and everything independent. independent. So that is the first case and uh, even I have seen my parents question it in the beginning yes. but then understanding... And not only marriage, even motherhood. If you see people are really, really... Pehle hota tha, mein shari karo, mein bacche ho hmm. And I'm, I'm not debating that. Maybe that has its advantages. I'm sure it does of starting a family sooner. Uh, I think right now I read somewhere Ranbir Kapoor had an interview where he said I'm, my biggest insecurity is my son mm. will be 20 when uh, I'm going to be uh, of a 16. certain age. Mm. Yeah. So I think uh, early parenting ke bhi obviously plus points hote hai that you know if you see a normal mortality rate you're around more your children. Uh, you know all that is there, the advantages are there. But again I think people have, have become a little more lenient and accepting. You see there is no rule. Whatever mm. is... Whatever rule applies to you is the rule, whatever rule you are okay with. If somebody wants to go for an early marriage or an early... I have had friends who got married at 21, have had children at 22 and they are happy about it. That's the truth of their life. Mm. Today we are in that time where we are accepting different truths. Yeah. Ki aapki ke hai, we are okay with that. Mm. There is no generic rule. Nahi hai. Aap jisse khush ho, wo karo. Mm. So which I think we are seeing that. People getting married late, people uh, embracing parenthood late in their lives. So. Mm. And parenthood also in different ways also, yeah. like people have yeah, got Not the quintessential way, yeah. yeah. But does the prospect or the vision of becoming a mother excites you right now? Honestly, I have two godchildren. Uh, so mm. Anukrah's niece and nephew, they are my godchildren and I tell them, they're like, I love them. So they are my children. Mm. So that is there and we, I didn't think Anu and me we are yet in that stage. Mm. Uh, like, we are very happy in each other's company. Of course, our parents now keep asking, Ab shadi ho gayi, now the next step is this. <laughs> Again, that's another decision we both have said when we both feel comfortable. Yeah. And right now, we know that, you know, age, there are different ways of embracing parenthood. Like, wo dar nahi hai ki, okay, yeah, she'll be 40 next year. Ab ma kaise ban I think we are not in that time zone anymore. So, this is something I don't think we are yet there. We would want to be there someday, whenever that happens. Even if it doesn't happen, you know, we are of, we have two children whom we call our children. So, we'll see how, what life has to offer, how we feel about it. But again, it'll be a decision which, which we tell our parents also. Of course, we know we have certain duties towards you all. We are, we want you all to become grandparents, all that is there. But it is something both of us have to be very 
it has to be a calling that has to come from us. So whenever that happens, it yeah. happens. And talking of your parents, na, matlab, like uh, when you see Anugre with them, the kind yeah. of behavior he has with them, the kind of respect he gives them, especially in times like the, what we discussed before the interview, like the health care that your mother had, yeah. in times like that, the behavior he has towards them and the support he brings yes. to you, how instrumental does it uh, become and how gladdening it is to see that side of him? It's extremely happy that, you know, these are the reasons why I always thought that I'm lucky to have him as a, have, have him as a partner. See, all the fun, the frolic, that is also needed in a relationship. But that, I think, is just the top layer. One that goes, what remains inside is the core layer, which is strong partnership. And when I say a strong partner, it is a partner with whom I can just, just sit around. Baad bhi na bhi karo, you know he's there, you know she's there or watch a movie together. It's coming back to the basics. And not only now, I remember there was, uh, I don't know where, but it's a few years back, my father had an operation in Mumbai. My brother was in here. I was here, but Anu was the one who chose to stay the whole night in the hospital with my father. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. The family connection is something which is, which is something that bonds us so strongly because he knows, uh, you know, when tomorrow, if something goes wrong with his family, I will be there. Like, not like a sasural hai, my first priority is my family. We don't operate like that. He knows that he can bank on me totally. Like I said, his nephew and niece are my god uh, uh, children, and they're not now after being married. They were right and, uh, for the last five, six years. Uh, I've flown to Hyderabad to be with the children, you know, with my with his nephew. So he's seen that family bond, and I have seen that too. I know tomorrow, whatever happens, I can always tell him that, you know, take care of my father, take care of my mother. And that's a huge, huge uh, comforting factor to, you know, having found a partner whom you know will be there no matter what. Yeah. He's from Jaipur, right? Yeah, he's a yeah. Pahadi, but from Jaipur. Oh, yeah. Pahadi. So, Pahadi and Bengali. Yeah. How, how, how is it embracing each other's culture and kind of getting to know the different kind of rituals and everything that you see? I think it's been more demanding for him than me. Because, see, I'm anyway uh, an outgoing person. Yeah. And I think also my exposure of being an actor has helped me, you know, open up as a person and I've done different roles. Again, even if on screen I've done or acted in different cultural stuff so for me it's easier to blend in for Anu it's a little difficult because I like I said his personality is he likes to be very in a cocoon mm -hmm. so and uh, you know my family at least hum log bahut outgoing hai. like even now my parents are very social hum Calcutta jate. every day my father is planning some get together and Kolkata is very social people like to go out go to each other's houses so Anu is not very I won't say okay but it doesn't come naturally to him so in initially he'd had to make a lot of efforts to kind of you know, whatever, you know, sometimes when you go for a holiday, you want to do things which make your parents happy rather than prioritizing us. I go to Jaipur, I try to do things that have to be a little bit of my path, but they should be happy. So we've both done our parts, but I'm, I'm sure it's been a little more challenging on his part because of the kind of person he is. But again, I think the families are not really that demanding. They're yeah. like, just... Live, let live, you all be happy, we are happy. So, but I mean, do you realize that you have actually covered almost the whole of India? He's a party from north, huh. staying stays in, in west. I'm staying in west. You stay, you come from east, and you stay right now in the uh, southern part. Yeah, because Maharashtra comes in the little southern part now. So, matlab, you have covered the whole, whole thing. <laughs> India. My mother in law used to say that ki ye to bhai likha hi hota hai, ki aap kalkatte wale ho. He's from Jaipur only, like born and brought up. Or kaha aap loka Mumbai mein dosti ho gaya. So yeah, I'm sure there are few things which are meant to be. Uh, Destiny does play a part. Destiny so. does play a part. Yeah. But Shandani, it has been a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you so a much. Bit I talked a lot, personally. but thank you for bearing with me. Are, I love conversations that go yeah. long, conversations that actually bring out stories, that actually bring out the reality. And thank you for being honest. Thank, thank you for you sharing so your story. Thank you so much it for having me on board. It's a pleasure talking to you. Hi, this is Shantini Ghosh and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. Please like, share and subscribe.